Christopher John Lewis attempted to murder the Queen with a .22 rifle in Dunedin. He missed, but two years later tried to kill Charles when he returned with Diana. Police did not charge Teen with treason as case was politically too hot to handle. Former Dunedin police officer Tom Lewis said then Prime Minister Robert Muldoon feared the royals would not return to New Zealand if word got out. A troubled teenager who attempted to kill the Queen boasted to police that he came within finger twitch of seeing her head splatter, a former detective told Mail Online. Christopher Lewis had the monarch lined up in his sights and was about to pull the trigger when two police officers walked into his line of sight. He failed to take the shot, but would later fire at the Queen with the bullet whizzing harmlessly past her head. Former detective Tom Lewis who interviewed self-named terrorist Lewis said the 17-year-old enjoyed describing how he almost assassinated the Queen during a walkabout on a tour of New Zealand in 1981. The troubled teen, a career criminal with a hatred for the royal family, later died in mysterious circumstances while awaiting trial for murder. He was found electrocuted in his prison cell despite being under constant supervision, and died protesting his innocence for the murder of a mother of three who was battered to death. Mr. Lewis, a detective sergeant, was put in charge of the investigation into the shot fired at the Queen while she visited the town of Dunedin during a royal tour of New Zealand. He later claimed the incident was hushed up on the orders of the New Zealand government and those police officers who wanted Lewis charged with attempted treason moved off the case to other work. Lewis was only ever charged with illegal possession of a firearm and discharging a weapon but never for trying to kill her during a visit to Dunedin. The retired detective told Mail Online, when I interviewed the teen he was very clear on what would have happened. He said he had taken up position in a place called the Octagon with his .22 rifle. He was less than 50 m from where the Queen would walk past and was a crack shot. He told me that he had a direct shot and had her head in his sights and was waiting for her head to splatter. He said he was just a finger twitch away from killing the Queen. Fortunately two police officers walked into his line of sight and he did not take the shot. Had he done so he would have changed the course of history. Lewis, who later plotted to kill Prince Charles and Princess Diana in a 1984 visit to New Zealand, retreated to a second firing position. This time he did pull the trigger of his .22 rifle but the bullet did not strike anything. The attempted assassination only came to light when Lewis was arrested for an earlier robbery of post office. Former Detective Lewis said one of his accomplices suddenly blurted out that the teen was angry because he had missed the Queen. Now retired and living on Australia's Gold Coast 72-year told Mr. Lewis vividly recalls sitting down with Lewis as the teen talked about his attempt on the Queen's life. He said the initial charging sheet contained the words attempted treason which carried the death penalty. Lewis said when senior officers realized the enormity of what this would mean he was sent on leave. When he returned he had been taken off the investigation and there was no mention of an attempt to kill the Queen. The shooter was later jailed for three years for a post office raid and firing a gun near the Queen. He spent the final year of his sentence in a psychiatric hospital but escaped to try and kill Charles and he who were on a royal visit. There is no doubt in my mind that had he got hold of a gun he would have carried out the attempt on Prince Charles and Diana. The man was a psychopath with a hatred of the royal family. Lewis would die 16 years later w.